Hello there. A week ago, there has been a devastating earthquake in Turkey affecting the lives of around a million people and resulting in the death of tens of thousands of people. I'm not going to elaborate on this matter, but um, there are a lot of fundraising campaigns going on and I will include one in the, the link of one in the description below. Uh, of uh, uh, one of which I find trustworthy. If you'd like to learn more about it, uh, you can uh, like. I will include the original video starting this fundraising campaign. On the side, you will find a prompt which will enable you to donate if you like. If you click on the details of it, you can learn more about. Uh, like its details and find out if it strikes you as trust trustworthy or not of course you don't have to contribute but uh, if you like to do so even a dollar is much of help in these circumstances <sighs> anyway I wanted to make this video because I thought it would help me get my mind off of this dire circumstance may for some minutes I don't know uh, before like diving deeper into this matter yeah, let's get to the video this episode dropped a bit earlier uh, than the others it was dropped on Friday because of I guess Super Bowl in the opening scene we have the people uh, run by Kathleen doing cruel things. I think the this the whole sequence captures how what kind of a peep, peep group they are. Uh, unlike different from the original video game, is Sam is uh, deaf in the show, and I think. Uh, they handled the whole situation really well. The producers. It. I I really like the nuanced nuance it brought to the show. Here in this scene, we kind of get to know Kathleen a bit more. These people are these people are collaborators who uh, exchanged with Fedra. They gave them information, and in return. They did get stuff like medicine, etc. Um, in this scene, this guy is talking to Kathleen. Like, are we, it's, is it really logical to like search for Henry in the manner we do? Like, uh, as I stated in the uh, my commentary in the previous episode, like it would be enough to increase security precautions around the like whole perimeter you don't have to it, it's not logical to follow this guy uh, with by, by wasting this this such an such an amount such high amount of resources uh, like he is kind of the voice of reason in this scene but uh, he also asked Kathleen whether they're gonna put these collaborators on trial, really, but um, she's not that much of a per trustworthy person. She's not a person of her word, I guess. And this reminds me of Joel, the behavior of Joel when Ellie was captured by, the, I guess, cannibals. Um, he and interrogates two guys from that group and kills them like I I, I, I if you yeah, like I will assume that you do not know the scene and describe it to you there are two guys back to back they have some space between each other they're both tied to something their movement is fixed <laughs> Uh, Joel is trying to jo double check the location so that like it's guaranteed. He's not really trying to do this, but um, this is the, he acts like he is trying to do this. He asks the guy on the front to mark the uh, 
show Ellie's where is Ellie on the map, and he says that now I'm gonna ask the guy in the uh, back, and if he points at somewhere else, then I will kill you. Uh, which kind of guarantees the like the the guy on the front should be so scared that uh, sca scared of dying that he should mark the right spot. Anyway, after uh, Joel asks him and he points the location, Joel kills the guy. Then go goes to the guy on the back. The guy says, well, he told you the truth. And Joel says, I know, I trust him, then kills the other guy too. Even without asking the location. Anyway, Joel is this kind of a guy sometimes. I just wanted to point that out. This scene was great in terms of remembering what The Last of Us is about, I think. I, I In the... Uh, like, the briefest way to put it, I think that Last of Us is about humanity. And these small nuances, relationships between people. And this scene is about the dynamic between Henry and Sam. Henry as the older brother and Sam as the younger. And... Uh, the matter of having someone depending on you is explored in this scene, I guess. This guy who was killed in the previous episode uh, tells Henry that, like, the little one is scared, be scared because you are scared. Then Henry goes and talks to Sam. He like acts like, "Oh, I look scared. Is this face looking scared to you?" Then. To like cheer things up, cheer things up. He kind of jokes like this place is ugly, but you can make it beautiful, and gives him a packet of pack of crayons. I really like the scene. I think it was handled really well. Then we see the paintings from the previous episode, how they were, how they came to exist. I think, like, I'm not gonna elaborate on the like comment too much on the production quality but as you know I, as I have stated many many times I really like it oh I also like this scene because like um, put yourself in the shoes of Henry it's really a tough situation to like when a kid is hang hungry and like you have to keep them from eating because you have limited resources this happens again then they decide that the guy who was shot in the previous episode is probably dead and won't come back and like they needed a new plan etc I really I also quite like this line because uh, I think it's really on spot because when you tell a kid to close their eyes they, the first thing, I mean, they would probably, like, shut their eyes too tight. That's the, instinctively the first thing they would do, but, um, like, this is spotted. I like the, the, the way this line spots this, uh, like, I don't know what to call it, but generality, a nuance of generality of humanity, I don't know. He looks like Michelangelo from Ninja Turtles. These shots were great. We are back to the end of the uh, previous episode. <coughs> I like uh, I quite like these lines too because Joel uh, really utters these words in in a voice tone like that doesn't sound trustworthy at all and my reaction would be the exact same with Henry there and Ellie kind of goes Ellie and I think these lines are also very on spot for Joel This is a callback to the, the opening scene, like 
Fedra were cruel to these people, and now these people are just cruel. Uh, in these scenes, I felt the tension, uh, like anxiety, Joel felt, like kids, uh, kids kind of take it, take the whole situation more lightly than the uh, most adults do, I guess, and they are kind of a, like since they depend on you, you would be extra on edge for keeping them safe. Uh, I think. This this particular sh uh, new um, th action was forced. The in the little guy is not the Sam is not Sam is not included in the whole planning thing. But uh, in order to be inclusive, uh, at some point Henry asks him like, "How do we get across?" and waits for him to write tunnels. But this takes goddamn long. Instead. I would have him in the planning thing and I would make Henry act as a translator. He can both talk and uh, do those translate uh, what he's saying into hand gestures, I think. It would be better in my opinion. <coughs> Where is Joel's fucking backpack? I asked myself when I saw this scene, but then I went back and realized that he didn't uh, he left it with the truck i don't know why they did that but actually i know why they did that because they wanted the Joel to shift to the backpack she uses uh, he uses in the uh, last of us part 2 and that backpack backpack will be the one uh, he borrows from henry i it's forced it was why doesn't my guy here have his backpack? Henry is like multiple times he is like the plan is good, the plan worked, but um he like that's too early of a judgment I think, and uh, Joel Joel calls that out. I I relate a lot to Joel like in. If I were in this kind of a situation, I would definitely act like Joel and like uh, beat kind of tense. True, I would try to keep things low. Like I would act like Joel in general. Uh, the little painting you see there, you can see the cursor, I think. Yeah, this is exactly taken from the game. It's a like Easter egg, if you may call it so. But you can call the whole show an easter egg, if you are to call this an easter egg anyway. Uh, since the age gap between the two are greater than uh, what is in the video game, Ellie is acting like an older sister to Sam, but um, she kind of... The uh, Ellie character here kind of feels like the stereo stereotypical American youth. Um, I'm not a fan, as I stated many, many times before. They spend some time here, wait for, for the sun to go down. We learn about why uh, Kathleen is looking for Henry, and I think uh, it's a valid uh, excuse. Like, I now it doesn't strike me as strange that Kathleen is so obsessed with Henry. Uh, but uh I also understand Henry like I he he's like the foreshadowing of Joel in a way to his position. He's like the foreshadowing of the end of this uh, the end of this season. Um, uh, I think these lines were kind of forced, forced to like, am I the bad guy? I am the bad guy because I did the bad guy thing. No, like, I don't think that. And I don't think you should also think that, like, your hand was forced, Henry. Don't take it too hard on yourself. 
I, mean, I would expect him to kind of like remain silent and wait for the response of Joel, but he doesn't let Joel respond. Again, pr uh, pr production quality. Uh, like, um, this scene is supposed to give some background information on Kathleen, but I, I don't really care about Kathleen, to be honest. I don't like the character. I... I don't know. I'm not a fan. They're talking about uh, her brother, who was the actual leader of this group, and... I'm kind of curious about him. No, I would definitely would like to know would like to know him. Like everyone is talking so positive about him. I would like to see what kind of a leader he is. Anyway, uh this scene actually this scene also explains how uh, such an like impulsive and bad at uh making reasonable decisions and uh, managing resources someone quite bad at this stuff can become the leader of this kind of a group because she is cruel and they are the whole group is prone to cruelty and they are looking for an excuse Kathleen gives them the excuse Kathleen is like Kathleen is their excuse like she's the authority uh, she's the one in like she's the authority that allows them or like justifies their actions I think they kind of get behind the cover of her authority uh... no one is here don't be so sure little guy and again, Henry is like, my plan worked. My plan? My, I, I'm a good planner. Uh, I, like... Okay, I'm gonna say, say... if I don't know if I had stated this exactly as I'm going to state it now, but the alley in the show is like an alley. Uh, like, let, let's take the alley from the video game. And define her properties. The alley in the show is like that alley with some of her properties oversaturated and some of them are undersaturated. Okay, this this is an alley, but a different alley. Eh, not that bad, but I am not a fan. That sniper sequence from the uh, video game. God, I'm gonna get rid of that cursor, anyway. Uh, the, 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 this little sequence was kind of <sighs> forced, forced, like, though I actually, this whole part is going to be really Hollywood-ish and not so good, but this is the, like, baby steps. Illogical decision to, like, oh, shit, uh, let's move, let's go, what the fuck are you doing, Get, getting the fuck out of here, like, they're gonna go. There's a fucking sniper out there. Oh shit, oh shit. Then they come back. Well, <laughs> why do we have that scene? I think it's unnecessary. Anyway, uh, the chat between Ellie and Joel in the game is uh, more... I think it has more faith and more in spot because prior to this scene... Uh, they work cooperatively. Ellie acts kind of like a sniper uh, on a construction thing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, and the Joel Joel is on the ground dealing with the uh, the like guys or enemies uh, in hand to hand combat, like in a close combat. Anyway, in the uh, video game, when Joel says that like I'm gonna go around and uh, try to get him from the back. Ellie says that, well, I'm coming with you. Joel says no. And Ellie is kind of... Now, they have some sort of an attachment between them and Ellie is kind of mm, anxious. But Joel uh, tells them that I need you to distract him. But in the show, he doesn't say such thing. Like He just say says that, like, stay here. Uh, I'm going to handle it. 
the guy is an old guy. Joel, like, uh, doesn't want to kill him. Tells him that, like, don't make me have to kill you. But he does. Then we they realize that the guy was communicating with the Kathleen's group. And they are approaching this site. Joel goes, run. And in this sequence, Pedro Pascal's acting is really good. This fucking car uh, from the game. I mean, look at him. Like, the tension on his face. The whiteness uh, on his nostril. And his look at his hand. There's, like, there's real pressure there. I don't know how he does it, but if the prop gun is a real gun, so he has to apply a realistic force, but it looks really good. Realistic on spot. Also, like, his facial expressions. He's really in the moment there. It doesn't feel like acting even one bit. Like, look at him. Also, she, uh, I appreci appreciate Bella Ramsey's acting in this sequence. In a similar way, I appreciate Pedro Pascal's. They both did a really good job, I think. Joel finally shots the guy, driver. The car it goes into the collapse, the, like, building, the bu some part of the building collapses. The car gets on fire, etc. Kathleen is like an asshole. Henry is like the good guy. Kathleen is being an asshole. Kathleen is like fireflies here. Fireflies at the end of this season. Hmm, like um, uh, this may this might be a shitty example, but. I guess it was in the Infinity War. Uh, Captain America says something like, we do not trade lives. Later on, they trade lives, but... Kathleen is uh, on the side of trading lives. Uh, he would rather let Sam die, and many people uh, keep surviving. Like in the end of this season, Joel will rather have Ellie live. But whole humanity die. Like she, he will not sacrifice Ellie for the for the humanity. And this uh, sequence is like a foreshadowing of that um, part to come. Uh, Kathleen is like, you think the whole world revol revolves around him? That he's worth everything? That Ellie is worth everything? <coughs> <coughs> I don't know if I should talk about that part to come now, but I will postpone it for later and talk about it when the time comes. I'm not a fan of fireflies, you know, you, you can probably tell that by now. Sam, Henry goes out, Kathleen is about to shoot him, but then Deus Ex Machina moment happens. And I didn't like that one bit. Oh, okay, they show... They, Hinted at the fact that there is something uh, happening under the surface. And, like, shit is about to hit the fan in the close future, but this is too convenient. It too convenient that it doesn't feel realistic. Some people are gonna go tell me that this is a fucking zombie show. You expect it to be fucking realistic? Well, uh, I mean... I can suspend my disbelief to the point that believing um, a fungal infection can evolve in this manner, but there should be consist consistency of reality in the show. Like, the show doesn't tell us that this is a fucking magical world. The show takes itself seriously and acts like this is a possible reality. So, yeah. That's that's a too convenient thing to happen, my friend. I also don't like that uh, mm, the show, the way show approaches 
<clears throat> like handles the infected situation. What I like about the game is that even though there are a small number of infected, they are even like when you're faced with a small number of infected, mm, it's dangerous. They are they are dangerous. However, uh, <clears throat> in the show, for them to be dangerous, I guess they have to be in great quantities. But I might be doing injustice uh, in terms of this scene because you know there's a whole army there with machine guns. So I'll, I'm <clears throat> this might have this a horde of this size might be the equivalent of them. Uh, again, Pedro Pascal's acting like the way he, his face kind of shakes wobbles you you see that and it's it's really good why why did they shot like they didn't shoot these in slow motion they sh did sh like shoot it in i don't know 24 fps then reduced it down to 12 fps so it would look it would be a slow motion scene but why 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 the fuck did you why why do we have the slow motion scene? It lasts like three seconds. It th th makes no contribution to the sequence. It just like mm, <clears throat> reduces the overall quality, if you ask me. This this guy is uh, not. It shouldn't be CGI. They they really made some. They really like made this guy. There's a real guy inside this, but the way he uh, attacks others feels so like CGI. Uh, I guess they kind of mixed practical effects, their uh, practical effects with uh, like CGI. Maybe, uh, of course, he, the he, the mouth part might the movement in the mouth part is CGI here. The whole thing is CGI here, I think, but. There also is a physical guy there. Weird. Well, Kathleen is like, ir like definitely. Uh, <clears throat> I would rather have her, like, deny his request and st stand her ground, use a fucking gun to fight that infected. But she rather runs. This was creepy. The like. I don't want to say the same things over and over again, but you know what I would say in, for this picture. Uh, it it's I like that we get to see some stiletto knife action with Ellie, and also if I were Joel, I'd be proud of Ellie. But she went all the way to rescue the two. Fucking Kathleen, like she is only powerful enough to shoot shoot this uh these like i i'm not i don't want to call them innocent but defenseless maybe at least in this situation people but poetic justice baby um i like the dialogue in this scene i definitely agree with joel like <clears throat> however henry is like what the fuck is this guy talking about and joel is like i mean you don't have anybody else relying on you and you're right that responsibility is uh tough uh it it would be much more easier for someone to survive alone like i'm not sure it would be easier but it would be mentally easier i think um you wouldn't have to think about like others the safety of others the well-being of others losing others etc like <clears throat> these scenes are not bad but um i don't know if they could be directed better uh i don't know what what i said previously about the ellie character is that it also goes here these lines are directly from the game he's like are you even scared she's like i'm scared of scorpions and sam is like and, and like that that's the accurate 
reaction to that answer, I think. And this, I think that this line is very much important for both of the video games. The, like, Ellie witnesses so much death. There's some, like, first, I forgot the name of uh, her lover, but her lover. Then, Tess. Then, it's not spoil. it's not a spoiler anymore. Then, Sam. <sighs> like, maybe she thinks that this many people died because of her. And, uh, sacrificing herself to that process would be her redemption. But, Joel takes that away from her. And I think she feels uh, responsible for the whole thing. And uh, f like feels like her only chance out of this is taken away from her. And uh, as I uh, said, like this line is important because I think in the core, that is the, her motivation is that she is scared of ending up alone. And one by one, Everyone around him is like not everyone around him, but some of the people around him uh, dies and are gone. Also, this line will be is like kind of a basis for the dialogue that will pass between Joel and Ellie when <coughs> around the Jackson part when Ellie. Uh, takes one of the horses there, uh, rides away, then Joel and Tommy find her, Joel and Ellie has a chat, have a chat, etc. At this scene, for a moment, I thought that they decided to save the life of Sam, and their method was like uh, this fucking process, Ellie cutting herself and using her blood to soothe the infection area uh, like cure the infection i was like what the fuck but they didn't go that way it's uh, it's just uh, kind of i don't know a twist we i think we can call it a twist then the same sequence takes place here the same sequence sequence we see in the game but i think the one in the game was kind of better People, some, especially the users in the like Last of Us subreddit, they go crazy when someone compares the two. Like, let the show be the show and the game be the game. But they are, they share the same source, you know. And this show is an adaptation of the game. I'm not calling this show bad. I enjoy watching it and I am glad that we have it but I of course can compare and contrast it too and voice my opinion uh, about which one I like better and I like the video game better yeah uh, Henry shoots low to keep the Joel back Joel is doesn't talk but he's like mm, what the fuck in the video game, uh, he's like, fuck it, then it reaches for his gun anyway, but before Joel, Henry kills Sam. And as I, like, I think the shot here supports uh, what I have said about Ellie being scared of ending up alone, losing people around her, etc. Um, in this particular scene... Uh, Bella Ramsey's acting is brilliant, I think. In the video game, uh, Henry blames Joel, like, it's your fault. Uh, it's also, like, it's not that on spot in the game, too. Uh, I think the line here is more on spot, like, what did I do? But so, I the way it is executed didn't feel right for me. Again, like, witnessing the death of the two uh, bears, bears some weight on Ellie. Again, uh, brilliant acting. And that backpack from the second game. 
and we see them walk away. Well, uh, I guess this was it for this episode. I am, as always, looking forward to the next one. I am not going to say excited because I don't feel excited at the moment. <laughs> um, well, see you in the next episode then. Take care.